have no fear. Good to see both of these teams in action. Piro for the first time, Miami. Uh, for the sixth time on the World Tour this year. Piro come up empty on their first shot attempt. They're trying to find Barry on the cut, but a foul stops the show. Team Miami come in sixth in the World Tour standings with a 16-5 and five record so far this year. Jimmer, who scored 47 points, nearly 10 per game at the Pan American Games. He will get the ball back. He's running out of time. It's all right, because he's saved by the bell. Gets the floater to go. And Miami will draw first blood. Pirot is going to feed it inside. That foul comes before the shot attempt. So again, Team Miami fresh off of the second straight gold medal for the USA. The women took gold as well. This is after the 2019 triumph in Peru. So whistle on the inside from first team all defense. I'm, gonna I'm just gonna change this whole nickname to first team all defense. That might be the longest nickname in 3X3 for Dylan Travis. <laughs> There's the running hook. But Bielitsa couldn't get that one to fall. He's one of the few players that you even see that type of shot in their bag these days. It's a vintage hook. Oh, take that back. Good defense up top. Because that one is blocked. Can they turn defense into offense? That's the question at hand. And we have a whistle. So that was Nikolic on the block. Darlich defending up top. He's guarding the new. The madman on the cut. Oh, you fancy, huh? Oh, you fancy, huh? Caught it with one hand, laid it up with one hand. Up eight. Slides to the left. Stroke was broke. Recovered on the inside and put up and in. Courtesy of Alexander Nikolic, the 26-year-old. Obviously, because Piro is playing their first Masters this season. They obviously have not met Miami on the uh, on the Pro Tour. So they're just getting acquainted. And they're not afraid to get physical. Whatever they do with the Madman, do not mess up the hair. Do not mess up the hair. All right, Madman, he'll hand it off. Oh, Jimmer, oh, the wet lele. Wet, wet lele. Nice connection between Jimmer and the Madman. It's a 3-1 lead here for Miami early. Team Miami have really come on here the second half stretch of the season. After that Cebu Masters title, they continue to play really good 3x3. Barry he kicks it out. Travis cannot land it. Dragon Bielitsa, you better watch your ankles with this man. I'm telling you, he's got the most vicious crossover in 3x3 history. Check the highlight reel. He didn't click. Wait a minute. Offensive foul. That one called on the baseline. As official talk was all over it. There's no ready to deploy. He's gonna. That one's broken up. By the way, I settled on new. Uh-oh, wait a minute. He just got bombed on. He just got bombed on. Big two balls plus the foul. What a shot from Dushan Filipovic. Filipovic shooting one here. After connecting on the two, he cannot make it a three-point play as the madman will snag the rebound. Maddox directing traffic. And bury the veterans on the floor. 
madman, he will chuck the deuces. Off the iron it goes. Both he and Barry are part of the 2019 Princeton team that earned the USA their first Masters title. They're both two-time America Cup champions, and they will share the Wilson. I think that worked out well. 4-4. You know, here they come. On ball screen, nice dish. Leads to the feed, the big man is eating. Nikolic adds another bucket. The early indicators look like this is gonna be a hell of a game. Madman, that's easy work down low. Five, five. Three and a half minutes in. Pull C action in your face, Kyle Montgomery in your ear. What in the magical shot? was that falling away and it still falls incredible mate Nikola Donlich takes the bump he'll have a chance at a two point play after this TV timeout this is how Team Miami got their score and started with the Jimmer floater there's the madman wearing his fancy pants. Look, my one hand. So Maddox has had an imprint on this contest early. Kareem averaging five points per game so far this year. A 73% mark from inside the two-point arc. But it ain't about him right now. It's about Nikola Donlich. Can he convert at the line and make it a two-point play? No, he cannot. Maddox will snag the board. Go set up. Jimmer. Jimmer. Oh, that's a loose change. He drops a dime to Madman. 6-6. Six, six. Bialitza. He will drop it off. Bialitza lets it go on Jimmer. As a matter of fact, Dragon told me he had a little something for Jimmer coming to this game. Saw him on the rooftop. <laughs> Let's see if he does have something for Jimmer in this game. Oh, Jimmer. Oh, Jimmer. Behind the back, missed the layup. Madman will get the board. He will elevate. He will score. Bielitsa, he's tricky with it. We call him Mr. Crossover. Professor X, he can teach a class in it. It is not a shooting exhibition. Air mailed out of bounds. Miami will reset with a one point lead. 5.23 to play. Jimmer Fredette, the former BYU star and NBA veteran, has his shot deflected. That length giving him a little bit of a problem on the perimeter. Bielitsa, Mr. Crossover. Hezzy, pull up, mid range. No. Halfway down and out as Barry will catch him clear. The madman looking to do some work in the post office. That's poked away. Quick hands. Nice defensive play from Donlich. Not allowing the much bigger Maddox to establish position on him. Maddox will get a breather. And the real deal is back in. Dylan Travis. They clear some space for Jimmer. 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 Fading away. No. Tough shot. Credit the defense here from Piro. Jimmer back with the cookie in hand. Trying to whip it, but that was kicked. We just saw a, uh, we just saw a football game inside the Haza Ben Zayed Stadium. Keep that over there. Jemmer. Oh, he is dishing. He's dishing like Bobby Flay. That one kicked out. Bielitsa sets up the two-point attempt. All net, all wet. Filipovic. Travis will miss the fall away. Bielitsa hands it over. Filipovic will give it back. Oh, he hits the deck. He was not there to receive the pass. And I believe Miami. Oh, 
Okay, no, I thought I thought Miami was whistling for the foul. They're not. Instead, ball out of bounds. And six seconds left on the shot clock. So now they, they'll give a clean check. It's a warning. It's getting intense there from Mr. Crossover. And first team all defense. Oh, this is what you want to see. First team all defense against Mr. Crossover. And first team all defense won Mr. Crossover zero in that individual matchup. That ball is kicked as well. So Pirot using all of their extremities to play defense. That'll give Miami a press 12 seconds once we come out of this second TV timeout. But a tight game. They don't get tighter than this. 8-8. It's going to be a heck of a task for either one of these teams to reach 21 points. Miami, in fact, is the highest scoring team in the league on average. They average 20.6 points per game, which is 0.6 higher than Team Oud. So they are the they are the highest scoring team in 3x3 this year. Oh, the new he gets free, gets to the rim. So after Barry's lay, he breaks the tie. Off the iron, offensive rebound goes to Pito. Another deuce is chunk. It touches nothing but oxygen. Dylan, Travis to the crib, nice move. They'll finish it with the left, but he might be in trouble here. A size mismatches. Nikolic scores it easily. Travis trying to get some get back. He's taking it Mr. Crossover. Travis fades, misses. Stays a one-point game. Mr. Crossover. And first team all deep. Mr. Crossover will stop from seven feet out. Feathery soft touch. 10-10 it is. Madman with the cross. Maddox, a little bit slow to get up. He does make his way up. And again, this is the last tournament where teams and players, rather, I should say, will be able to earn ranking points for direct qualification into the 2024 Paris Olympic Games top three in the rankings at the end of business November the 1st those three countries in both the men's and women's competition will qualify directly to the Olympics and the United States is in great position uh, to be one of those representing countries in both the men's and women's competitions that speaks to the effort that they put in in terms of of participating in so many 3x3 events and, and the success that they've had as well. So, nothing official yet. I want to make sure that that's clear. Nothing's official. We will make that uh, announcement officially midday on November the 1st on the three countries that will uh, directly qualify to the Olympic Games. Things could change, obviously, uh, with this tournament here. Mr. Crossover, we got the hookup. Holly, if you hear me, uh, I know that's a throwback. Bear with me. I'm 40. What do you want from me? Anyway, the mad man. <laughs> Somebody, oh, he deploys and detonates the nuke. Drops the deuce. 12 11. Bielitsa trying the lefty hook. No good that time. Now Jimmer on the move. Jimmer will give it down. Nuke Berry up and in, off the window. Two point lead for Team Miami. So we're under two minutes to go in this one. It's crunch time, abdomen. Each team's gonna have to dig deep. Miami to hold off Pirot. Pirot would love nothing but to spoil the opening game for the Americans. That whole possession was spoiled. 
A nasty shot right out of bounds. Each team with five fouls apiece, a buck 45 to go. Again, unlikely to see either one of these teams hit 21 points, but as long as you got the most points when the clock strikes zero, that's all that matters. Speaking of clocks, I want to thank our official timekeeper, Maurice Lacroix. Our ball and apparel sponsor, Wilson, got a newly designed Wilson ball that we debut, that we are debuting currently on the court right now. Here at this Abu Dhabi Masters, officially from Al Ain. Got another whistle. And not to forget uh, our other sponsors as well, our global partner, Chooks to Go. So a lot of Filipinas are uh, here at the venue. So shout out to uh, the Philippines. They always show a lot of love. Uh oh, watch your step, young fella. Never mind. Jimmer cannot knock down the two, even though he's. He's hit nearly 50% of his two-point attempts this year. And coming off a Pan American Games where he shot over 50% from two-point range. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. 14-11. They're doing some basket weaving. Team Miami right now. As the new can head over to Jimmer. Jimmer off balance. Missed it short. Oh, what a play. Dylan Travis keeps it alive, and the nuke explodes at the rim. A four-point game. Bielitsa hit pause, then play. Catch up if you can. It's 15 to 12. That was stolen away from tra by Travis. So a three-point lead for Miami with 48 seconds to go. So both teams will reset here. You see that last possession. Miami taking aim at their second Masters title of 2023. Looking good in the standings. Again, sixth place. They finish runners up in Amsterdam. Look at the touch on that. Ridiculous. The Elitza still so skillful. Did Jimmer just cross that man to the ground? Look at the hustle play from Travis. He, they'll keep it alive, but oh, he's made to pay double. He charged them double for it. Filipovic evens things up at 15 apiece. Jimmer chucks the deuces. No, long rebound. Dylan Travis, the effort plays, making a difference. Jimmer on the run. He hits it. Miami up by one. Under 10 seconds to go. Filipovic, no. Madman with a huge rebound. The real deal. Fires it up. That will, that will end it. Suspenseful end to this one. Miami will hold on to win it. 16 to 15. And a nice game between these two. Tell you what, Piron is not going to be a pushover in this competition. 